My name is Kelly Sharon, and I'm a social studies teacher at Bothell High School. Most of the classes that I teach at Bothell are civics and contemporary world problems, which are graduation requirements. And one of the curriculum areas within civics that we are required to teach is tribal sovereignty. I have very limited background knowledge on tribal governments and can only really speak in generalities because there's 574 tribes. So I thought that it would be a lot more authentic and a lot more interesting to the students to have guest speakers come in that are indigenous. First of all, I was really impressed with how engaged the students were. Um, it's a pretty challenging task to keep teenagers focused, and they brought in tangible items for students to feel in touch. You know, you go back to the seven generations ago that signed the treaties, they gave away six million acres for us to have a little plot of land known as Tulalip so that we can still practice our ways. For something as simple as harvesting cedar, for something as simple as going to the mountains and collecting our berries. I have one student, he's Samoan, and I saw him go up afterwards and talk to Michael and be like, what tattoo is that? Is that Tulalip? Is that indigenous? And then he shared his Samoan tattoos as well. Wear your culture proudly. I think the students felt respected. They were engaged. They were able to ask anonymous questions, which was an interesting tactic. And I think that freed up students to ask questions they might have been embarrassed to ask out loud, being able to talk to real people who have lived it um, beyond just the textbook or even reading fiction by Native American authors, it, it really was meaningful to talk to Marie and Michael as just our neighbors. Having Enzo there, their baby, was a huge draw for some of the students, especially some of the female students. And seeing them there as parents and people versus just like a guest speaker that's a professional on the topic, it made them feel a lot more comfortable. And they were all super engaged and asked a ton of questions and were really interested in all of the items and the information that they brought. Thank you so much for listening. Having them come in and actually speak about their experience, their family's experience, the culture, the traditions, the ancestral knowledge, all things like that. How the tribe still interacts with the land, how much land they have, going out and pulling cedar and bringing some of those artifacts in for the students to see were all things that I could never offer them. We don't have any definitive plans, but I would love to have them come back year after year and continue this.